Yo, what is up, you beautiful people? We are back with another YouTube video. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. But today, in this video, we're gonna go over a full day of eating, as I am officially nine weeks out from summer shredding, to help me maintain over 220 pounds down. And personally, since I've been on prep, I actually enjoy watching people eat while I'm eating. So I thought I'd do a full day of eating for you guys, as a lot of you guys have been asking for some tips and tricks and stuff like that. So let's get into meal number one. So first up, we're gonna grab some liquid egg whites and some quick oats. We're gonna go ahead and measure out 230 grams of egg whites. Shit. Well, I guess it's 236 today. So then you wanna go and grab some of your zero calorie avocado oil, spray your pan, egg whites down on a medium to high heat pan. And while your egg whites are cooking, Let's go ahead and weigh out the oatmeal. All right, so the egg whites are cooking. Let's go ahead and measure out 60 grams of quick minute oats. So then you wanna go ahead and place water inside the bowl just to cover the top of the oats. Kinda of use your finger to stir it up a little bit and then you wanna place it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute 30. So once your oatmeal's done, it should look something like this. Then you wanna go ahead and add one serving of protein powder of choice. Make sure you're weighing out your protein powder because not every scoop weighs the correct amount. So you could be underdosing or you could be overdosing on a scoop of protein powder. So once you get your protein powder all added in the bowl, just go ahead and mix it up. And if it is still a little thick, go just go ahead and add some more water and tell the protein powder is all mixed in because you don't want just clumps of protein powder. Alrighty, so this is the finished product of breakfast. Got to throw some hot sauce on the eggs and of course, heel mix of water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. But let's go ahead and go over the full macro breakdown of this meal. So this meal is 455 calories, 48 grams of carbs, four grams of fat and 57 grams of protein. So today is active rest day. So we're gonna go do some cardio after we eat some breakfast. So I'll see you guys back here for lunch. Yo, what is up? We just got done doing some cardio and some abs, took a bunch of pictures. So now it's time for lunch or meal number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my high protein, low calorie breakfast quesadilla that I eat probably every day. So we're gonna need two whole eggs, liquid egg whites, fat-free cheddar cheese, four ounces of 97% fat-free ground turkey, and two spinach low-carb tortillas. So you wanna go ahead and crack your eggs in the bowl. Beautiful one-handed crack. Look at that, Gordon Ramsay, watch out. Then you wanna go ahead and pour up 200 grams of liquid egg whites. Again, spray the pan with your avocado oil. Eggs in the pan, medium-high heat. Oh, well, that's cooking. Go ahead and add your ground turkey as well. Spread it all evenly out across the pan. Then what you want to do is grab your tortillas, grab two, weigh out one serving of fat-free cheddar cheese, which comes out to be 28 grams. After you get 28 grams measured, go ahead and place one of your tortillas in the microwave and spread out half of the serving of cheese and melt it for about 30 seconds to a minute and then place it right on top of the eggs so that way the eggs stick to the tortilla. So after you grab your tortilla out of the microwave, just place it right on top of the eggs so that way the eggs cook into the tortilla and you don't have to worry about it falling apart. All right, so once your eggs are ready to be flipped, make sure you spray your pan because I just lost like half. Nice. Now I gotta piece it all together. All right, so once you get your tortilla flipped with your eggs on top, go ahead and spread out the rest of your fat-free cheese evenly across the rest of the eggs. Place your tortilla, your second tortilla on top. And then basically, you just let your tortilla brown up on both sides and I'll show you guys the finished product and I'll go over the macros. All righty, so here's the finished product. You can brown up a tortilla as much as you prefer. It's really up to you on how what you decide. But let's go over the macros on this meal. So for my breakfast quesadilla, the macros are 524 calories, 36 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 79 grams of protein. So I'm gonna smack this up 
and then I'll catch you guys back here for my mid-afternoon snack. It is a banger, you don't wanna miss it. So, see you soon. Yo, welcome back to Gaines Kitchen. It's time to make our mid-afternoon snack. We're gonna go with a thick, high-protein protein shake and a rice cake sandwich with fit butter. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we need today. So you're gonna need some of the Jet Puff Rise Protein and any type of fit butter that you would like. Of course, caramel rice cakes, a blender, and some unsweetened almond milk with xanthan gum. All right, so first up, you wanna measure out 350 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna weigh out one serving of Jet Puff protein. So you wanna make sure you are weighing out your protein, like I said this morning for breakfast, because not every serving scoop is exactly a full serving or it's over. So we need to measure out 33 grams so once you measure out 33 grams of the protein, you wanna go ahead and add about a teaspoon to half a teaspoon full of xanthan gum straight into the mixture. And after you get all your dry ingredients, you wanna go ahead and throw in some ice on top. And you can add as much ice as you want. It just really depends on how thick you want the shake. So after you get your ice, just go ahead and screw the cap on and blend this thing. And that's all she wrote. Let's see what we got. Final product. Look at that, thick, creamy protein shake. So let's go ahead and make our Fit Butter rice cake sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one. This flavor is better than sex cake. So next up, you wanna grab two caramel rice cakes. And then you want to measure out 33 grams and spread it evenly across the rice cakes. And this is what the final product should look like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and smack this up here in a little bit. I'll go ahead and give you guys a taste test review. But I do have to go get ready for work and dinner and my mid-after dinner snack will be a voiceover because they're probably going to get mad at me for bringing my camera, but they're just going to have to get over it. But I'll see you guys back in the kitchen for the last and final meal of the day. Yo, what is good guys? We are back and ready for our mid-afternoon snack. So, put them in the freezer a little bit to make them like kind of like an ice cream sandwich, but they broke. But I'm just gonna take a bite like I usually do. So here's how it looks. The butter is frozen, kind of like an ice cream sandwich. And then we have our thick and creamy vanilla fluff nutter milkshake. So you know the rules, take our first bite. And just can't get over how well good Fit Butter is. You guys go check them out, link in the description if you wanna get anything. And then also just check out the flavors they have. But I'm gonna smack this and eat this and then we're gonna head to work. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys back when it's time for dinner. Yo, what's good, we just got to work. We're gonna go ahead and sip on one of these 3D Frost energy drinks for some caffeine but I'll catch you guys back here in just a second with dinner. So dinner is going to be 180 grams of sweet potato fries with eight ounces of cooked chicken breast, 100 grams of broccoli frosettes, one of these spicy guacamole cups with a Coke Zero vanilla. And of course, we cannot forget the Hegel mix full of water. Gotta stay hydrated for this hot summer. I'm gonna smack this up and I'll catch you guys for my mid-evening snack. All right, guys, so my mid-evening snack is going to be 70 grams of old-fashioned oats with half a serving of Rise Chocolate Cookie Blast Protein. A little hack for you guys, the more water you add to your protein and you keep re-microwaving it, keep stirring it, it will eventually get thicker and grow more as oatmeal does grow with the more water you add. But yeah, that's my mid-evening snack. I'll see you guys back in the kitchen for the last meal of the night right before bed. If you guys made it this far to the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It would mean the world. I hope you guys are enjoying this full day of eating. 
I really do enjoy making videos like this just because it helps broaden the horizon for people that are just looking to lose weight or just trying to eat healthier. So I'll catch you guys here in a bit. Yo, what is up? We just got off work. Super busy tonight at the restaurant, but we have one more meal before we can head to bed. So let's go ahead and head home and I'll see you guys back in the kitchen for the last and final meal of the day. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Hope you guys are picking up some tips and tricks on how I eat and using them yourself. So, see you guys in the last meal of the day. Yo, what is up? We just got back to the kitchen. It is time for the last and final meal of the day. And tonight, for a weight night snack, we're going to be having four buttermilk waffles with 50 milliliters of sugar-free syrup. So let's go ahead and throw these bad boys in the toaster and weigh out our syrup. All right, so don't judge. We're having to use a party cup for our milliliters of syrup because we didn't do dishes yet. So let's go ahead and measure out 50 grams, or 50 milliliters, I should say, of sugar-free syrup. All right, so once these bad boys are out of the oven, all right, sorry, delete that. But once you pull these bad boys out of the toaster, pour 52 milliliters of your sugar-free syrup, spread them evenly across all of your waffles, and enjoy. So let's go ahead and go over the full macro breakdown for the full day officially nine weeks out from summer shredding. All right, so the total macros for today is 2,830 calories, 250 grams of protein, 306 grams of carbs, and 70 grams of fat. So with that being said, guys, I am officially nine weeks out from summer shredding. I'm gonna showcase my transformation nationally as I'm officially 200 pounds down. And this is everything I eat in a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys wanna see more in the comments. But yeah, catch you next time.